Welcome back to the workshop, Panty Man. We're going to work on a little project today. I had a customer want me to build a uh, little gun rack for him. So we're going to uh, do it inexpensive, is what he calls it, as possible. And uh, so he sent me a picture. Uh, I'll try to include that in here at this point. want me to build a uh, little gun rack for him. So we're going to uh, do it inexpensive, is what he calls it, as possible. And uh, so he sent me a picture. Uh, I'll try to include that in here at this point. And when that goes in, we'll, uh, <clears throat> we, as you see, we're gonna have just a little one. The hangers on this one are made out of uh, old railroad spikes, but we're not going to do that. Uh, I think we'll probably make something out of wood. Uh, those spikes are, I guess, a little expensive. I don't know, I've not priced them out. He said that he didn't want to spend that kind of money on it, so we're not gonna force that. We'll go ahead and try to make something out of wood and stick in there, And I think. Uh, so anyways, I've gone through my uh, pile of lumber around here, as I always do, and try to find something I can work with. Uh, I found this stuff here, I don't really even know Sure, it's uh, some sort of siding it looks like. I think that'll probably do. The thing's going to be 24 inches tall probably when I get done, something in that area. And approximately, I need four foot clear space in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and sand these boards down. They look like pretty nice boards, I think. And probably by the time I sand them down, uh, the only other thing I know is that when I put them together, there's actually a groove here, and I don't think I want to do that. I don't know. It don't look all bad. It probably wouldn't hurt, but I think I'm going to go ahead and rip that back down a little bit so that uh, they go together tight. So we'll go ahead. I'm going to cut all these at four foot lengths and get me, I think, five of them. They're about five inches across of a uh, thing, just about. So that'll be 25 inches total for it. So we'll go from there, see how it works, and uh, what the heck? I'm sure we can make it work. Okay, I think I like the way that's going to look. I kind of going from, uh, looks like we had sort of a dark board and it kind of comes all the way down to a lighter board. So I think that'll work. I think I'll go ahead and probably be able to glue all that up. But we're going to go ahead and get the sideboards here first, get all this set together. So I've got to find something. The only thing I don't like about this wood that I'm using is it does have that groove on the back of it. I don't know whether to get rid of that or what I want to do on that. So I got to think on that a minute and we'll see where to go from there. Okay, so I've got these kind of set out the way I wanted, I think. I've cut some rough a little bit with the rest of them. I had to have three four foot pieces, uh, one for the top, one for the shelf. And then I've got a spare one that we'll use for the, uh, we're going to put a little one by around this to, uh, case this in in the middle. And then uh, I did the same thing here. I want this to be two foot tall, so we're going to do two foot on that. We'll trim this off when I get uh, the final dimension. If it's off a little bit, we'll work on that. So next thing I'll have to do, because it's got grooves in this, I think I'm going to take and just plane that down and get rid of the grooves. And uh, I'll have to remove the tongues and the lips on all this. and. Uh, so I'll just be running them through the saw and the planer and getting them to look like what I want I've got the three around the outside done. 
Now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I've got the plane done on uh, the center shelf here. So I've got to figure out that exact dimension. And it looks like this is going to be about three and three quarter inches. So we'll go ahead and rip that board down on the table saw to three and three quarter inches. And that looks like that's going to be our shelf. So now what I wanted to do was to take this dimension here, which is supposed to be about 16. And then this is supposed to be about six. So we're about there. And we might give that a little extra room in there. I don't think we need more than about six inches from that. So we're going to set it up at six inches there. And then we're going to, uh, that's going to leave us a good, uh, yeah, it looks like a little better than 16 and a half inches. That should be enough for two guns. And then uh, what I want to do is make sure that I don't go beyond that. So we're going to take it from here up to here. Mark those two points, cut that off, and just kind of round it a little bit, make it look good, and uh, then we'll be able to sand that down. Okay, now you probably need to ignore this part of it because, uh, well, it is safe. I'm going to set it in here on this angle because it's more than a 45. It is still hitting here to hold that one in place. I'm going to hold the other two in place so that they're perfect. And I've set up the angle. And uh, I think we're good right there. So we're going to go ahead and cut them. So they're both the same. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll take them over to my sander and let's sand them down a little bit. And of course, we've got to do our dust collection. So we'll open this one up and we're going to go ahead and use the disc. So we'll go ahead and open that one up. And we'll go ahead and set up to use the old disc. And I'm going to try to keep these two together so that they uh, come out looking pretty much the same, as close as we can. It's fine. Now we'll go over here and see if, uh, well, we shut off that gate. We shut off the main gate. Whew. And we'll come up here and uh, we should shut off the noisemaker. That's the uh, dust collector. And then this will go here, like so. This will go here, like so. And then this shelf will sit right there. So I think that's starting to come around. So now our four foot pieces are going to have to go for our inside of here. We'll go ahead and cut these. I think I only want to make those, I don't know, inch and a half wide, something like that. I think it'll look all right. I don't know, inch and a half, two inches. I could do two. Give it that depth, give it a little bit more stability maybe. So we'll shoot for that, two inches. All right, let me set up to cut those on the table saw. Do is uh, send these through my sander real quick, also. So, a little bit rough on the front tide. Save me some hand sanding. So, let's go over here and see if we can do something with this. Seems how we didn't sand these earlier. Oh. 
Okay, so that should get those. We'll come back over here and we're gonna have to cut these, of course, to length because uh, we had approximates. So I know the four footers are gonna go in something similar to this. And the two footers is gonna go here, but I think I wanna go with that way. All the way up and then we'll fill in the, the other ones, I believe. So I think I want to connect as many of these boards together as I can. We'll do that from the back side when I go to put it together. We'll nail them together, screw them together, do one of those. And then this one here will go here. And I think that's all we should need on these. I don't remember if the pitcher had one on the bottom or not. I'll have to look at that again, but I don't think it did. Um, I do think I need to run this through the sander though one time on this back side. So we'll do that and then we'll uh, figure out and cut the rest of these. Okay, I think we can see about how this is going to look. Um, I'll try to give you a good show of it anyways. I don't know if you can see that, but I think it's going to match up with the picture pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, not bore you with the technical details of sanding. And we'll sand it and then put it uh, together. Probably a little glue and a couple little finished nails just to kind of hold it in place. And we should be good to go. Okay, so I went through all the boring sanding. And now we're going to uh, see if we can screw this together. So we will go with a uh, quick uh, square this up. I've put the, the two sides, which I know are going to be on there. I don't know if you can tell that or not. And we're just going to make sure that we start out clamping that first one here at the top, nice and square with the board, and then we'll line the rest of them up and put a clamp on them. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just use some inch and a quarter screws. We'll countersink and uh, pilot them into that, and we should be good. Okay, so we've got the back glue uh, screwed to it from the back side and got this in place on both sides. That holds everything perfectly square and ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and just add maybe a little bit of glue to the edges here and we'll stick that up there and probably put a couple just little pin nails in there to hold it together on both sides. The top, I don't want to put a lot of nails in it. We're going to try to rely mostly on the glue, but a couple little nails in it probably won't hurt anything. So we'll probably go ahead and knock that part out next and finish putting it together, just gluing and nailing it. We'll show you when we get it all put together. Okay, I've got this uh, all glued and screwed, nailed, and looking pretty good, I think. Uh, we'll go ahead with that. And the next thing we needed to do was to add something to hold the actual guns in here. So what I did is I really didn't have a pattern or anything to go by. So what I did is just kind of drew one out and uh, made up some dimensions. Uh, I think I'm going to cut this just a little bit shorter on this one and this one. But the height wise, I think will work good. They are going to sit in there something like that. We'll just screw it from the back side and the gun should rest in there. So we'll do one more of those and uh, I think that'll do it. So I've taken another piece of the wood that I had and I've, I'll just take it and lay it on there and trim it up a little bit more. I've run it through the sander one time and get all the edges off of it. We'll rip it down. We'll make that copy of that and uh, I think we'll be fine with that. So we'll cut all that up, get it ready to go set in there. Okay. What I did is I uh, took that pattern I had and I kind of cut it down. I used the band saw and a jig saw and a scroll saw and I got them about where I think I want them. Set the couple of guns in the rack to make sure they'd work. Marked out approximately the location that I need them. I Okay, I don't know exactly what happened to my sound here. It seems like it's disappeared. So we'll have to do a little uh, overlay of this and see if this works. Uh, but anyways, I laid out the uh, thing and I just simply taped them to the back of the board and made some marks where I wanted them. That way I could uh, drill from the back side and, and uh, pilot hole it back through and just simply screw these to the, uh, to the back plate of the thing. Uh, they look like they hold the guns in properly. I trimmed them off to make sure the guns would fit in there. 
and the overall look of it i think uh, it's going to do pretty good uh, i like the way it fits i like the way it looks the only thing we have left uh, after this would be uh, to put a little bit of a finish on it so we'll go ahead and uh, put finish on it and uh, show you what that's going to look like I think the finish look looks pretty sharp. Uh, I think it's ready to go to the customer. I think he'll be happy. Uh, I do appreciate y'all checking it out. Hope it uh, gives you some ideas. Maybe you'll want to build one too. Who knows? But I uh, appreciate any thumbs up, likes, uh, shares. Uh, it always helps the channel and keeps me going on new projects. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.